What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima I Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys five more brand new Cydia tweaks for iOS 9.3.3. And again, these are not older tweaks that have been updated from previous jailbreaks, these are brand new tweaks that have been released for 9.3.3 in the past few weeks or so. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have Bookmarks Icons. This one's available for 99 cents, and basically this tweak will place the icons for your favorite websites in Safari in the list view. So normally in Safari, as you can see, you know, when you have your favorites here, they always show the icon. But if you tap on the, you know, icon down here and then actually open up the favorite section, normally in here, they just show a little bookmark, you know, glyph, little fake icon there. And it's the same for every single website. But this tweak, as you see here, it actually, you know, uses the logo for the website that's there as the actual image. So it makes it much easier to, to detect and it's just much prettier this way, much better design. It really doesn't make sense why it's done the other way. And this is very helpful if you have a long list you know, because, because again, it just makes things easier to detect and tap on so you could get to where you want to get to fast. So if we just go back to the view here, as you can see, you know, you can actually update the icons if you want to. So let's just say uh, maybe a website changed or something and you know, they got a new icon. You could tap that to go ahead and update it like that. Uh, and also, if you guys head over to settings and then open up the bookmarks icons settings panel, you could toggle on icon borders on and off, and you could also empty the icon cache to delete the saved icons in the file system. So I'll show you what it looks like if I go ahead and disable icon borders here. So we'll just go ahead and close it, and then we'll just go back to this tab here. And as you can see right there, just like that, they don't have the borders. And I actually like it without the borders better. I think it looks cleaner. But really cool tweak. It just makes so much sense, much better than Apple's implementation. Next up is Clio. This one's $1.99. This essentially redesigns the way that the control center looks. So if you pull it up on your device, as you can see, it does have a different look to it. So essentially, it just pulls up the home screen there, kind of in that new animation style. And also, you have two pages. You have the toggles page and you have the music page like this, as you can see. And you can scroll between them like so. And I actually just like the way that this is laid out better. It just looks better in my opinion. Um, and as you can see there, we also have the colorized control center toggles, which is actually found in iOS 10 and on the Apple Watch. So that's a nice touch there that it adds that. And of course, if we go over to the music page, as you can see there, you know, everything's well everything's well laid out with the buttons and everything like that, the album artwork. And also a really cool feature is if you're actually playing music actively on your device and you just go ahead and pull up Control Center, as you can see there, it's automatically going to open up to the music page no matter what. So if I'm playing music actively, I pull it up, as you can see, it defaults to music like that. So that's really convenient because generally, you know, if you're listening to music and you pull up Control Center, you probably want to actually control the music. And of course, when I stop the music there, as you can see, it goes back to the toggles page. So just a nice and refreshed design to Control Center. Next up, we have Wave to wake this one's available for 99 cents and this tweak allows you to wave your hand in front of your device to lock unlock and wake it up and it also allows you to basically when you take your phone out of your pocket it'll just wake it up and when you put it back in your pocket it'll put it to sleep automatically so first you know let's just jump into settings and i'll show you guys how to configure this to your liking so just jump into wave to wake make sure the tweaks enabled and then we have the unlock device and lock device configuration so if we tap into one of these things, we basically have one, two, three, four, and five. And this is number of waves, you know, you actually actually have to do with your hand in order to perform that specific action. So I have it set so two waves will actually unlock my device. And I also have lock device set over here to two waves as well. So now, as you can see here, if I just wave my hand in front of my device twice, there you go. It goes to the lock screen. Simple as that. Wave it twice again. It unlocks. So pretty cool. This is useful if your hands are dirty and you just want to interact with your device. Obviously, you can't really do too much with it, but if you just want to unlock your device, wake it up or something like that, this can be convenient. So let's say your device is completely asleep. Wave your hand in front of it. It wakes up. And there you go. You can check the time, check notifications. And if you want to unlock to the home screen, just do it again and it unlocks. Now, there's also the whole pocket thing as well. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and put my phone in my pocket. And as you can see there, when I take it out of the pocket, it's actually asleep. And then, of course, it wakes up as soon as it sees that I pick it up. And if I put it back in, it'll go back to sleep. So that's a cool feature as well. So really cool tweak just kind of helps you with those, you know, awake and asleep gestures um, with your device. And obviously, the whole waving thing is just a cool thing to have. It's, it's a cool thing to show off to people. You can control your phone without even touching it. So this one's available for 99 cents once again. Talus is available for $1.99 and it's basically a control center alternative. It's this little box that essentially floats around your screen like this and you have toggles but you also have a lot more options and a lot more features in this than the normal control center. So the first page here you have a respring toggle like this you can select OK. There's also reboot shut down and safe mode right there and this one is actually a flash delay as you can see like that on the back of your device. 
and you could scroll down and you basically have a music playing inter interface here as well. And you could actually tap on it to play your music like this. It'll give you the uh, artist name and the song name and you could skip forward and backwards just like that and tap to pause. That's convenient there, definitely nice design. And if we slide down again, we have some more options. So we have some you know toggle sliders here. So the first one is basically brightness. So if you, if you manage to grab hold of it, it can be a little hard because they're small, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. As you can see there, we could adjust that. And then down here, we have the flashlight uh, toggle as well. So you can actually enable your flashlight and toggle it essentially from a higher you know, point of intensity to a lower point. Normally, we don't have this type of granular control. So it's really cool to have this. Uh, and then we actually have sound down here. So that's volume just like that and if you scroll one more time towards the bottom as you can see right here we have search google and notes so if you want to search google you could just tap on that and you can actually search it right in here so if we just go ahead and search for a test we could hit search and it'll actually bring up a little browser inside of this tweak itself which with some controls back forward you know home which is just google and then of course you could close it or you could just open it up in the full safari if you want to do that uh, so that's cool to have as well. And then there's also the notes section, which is actually built in notes with this tweak. So this, these notes will just be stored in this tweak there. But, you know, it's a cool way to just, you know, s store notes if you just want to come back to here, go to notes and see it right there. Now, there's also some gestures you can configure with this tweak as well. So if we go ahead and double tap on it, it'll actually hide and dock over to the side like that. So that's how you hide the tweak. And if you want to bring it out, you just drag it. And unfortunately, you can't drag it over to the side. You actually have to double tap like that and then it'll hide like that. So. Also, if you tap and hold on the interface, then you're, you're going to be brought to this menu. And essentially, these are slots for activator gestures of your choice. So you can assign one of these shapes, so triangle, you know, circle, square, etc., to do a specific activator gesture. So I have a set, so when I tap on the circle, it'll compose a tweet just like that. Now, all my Twitter accounts are actually registered inside the Twitter app, and your Twitter account needs to be registered inside the settings app for the activator gesture to work. So it's telling me that I don't have an account, but you get the point there. You can use any activator gesture of your choice to assign to any of those things. So basically to set that up, you could just go ahead and open up activator, uh, go into anywhere. And then eventually you're actually going to find when you scroll down a section designated to this tweak. So as you can see here, here's Talus Activator Button. So you have circle, diamond, octagon, square, and triangle, and just tap them to any of them. Tap your activator gesture of your choice. Again, I have composed people. You could assign all these to you know anything you want. And if you guys want to configure Talus to your liking and kind of go in depth with the configuration of it, just jump into settings, head over to Talus, go into configuration. You could really you know go in depth here and configure things to your liking. But really cool tweak, it's just a, basically a supercharged version of Control Center. Next up, we have Genesis. This one's available for one dollar ninety. And this tweak allows you to modify the home screen layout of individual pages on your home screen. So basically how you get this working is you just go ahead and put your device into local mode and then double tap in any extra area on your home screen. Then you'll be getting this menu. So it looks very nice. But essentially what you could do here is you could readjust how many columns or rows you have on your, you know, on a certain page. And then you have icon size as well. And you could also e edit the size of kind of the entire layout and you could have the option to resize badges or labels. Let's just go ahead and start off with the column. So if I tap on plus here, as you see right there, it actually will increase the amount of columns that are gonna be available on this home screen. So I could fit a ton more applications than I'm normally able to write on this page. So that's very cool. And this is you know different from other tweaks because you know we could actually do it on a per page by per page basis. As you can see, this page is not affected by this layout. So if we just go ahead and go back into Google mode with an icon, then double tap out here. Uh, I'll show you guys rows as well. As you can see, we could actually change that as well. So as you can see right here, that's just incredibly cramped. But again, you could fit a lot in there. So now let's just go ahead and go back into the wiggle mode. And then we're going to go ahead and double tap. And you could also customize the size. First, I'm just going to reset it down here. And as you can see, it'll all go back to normal because I just want to get a fresh slate there. And if we tap and hold on these buttons, as you can see, you could actually maximize the size of your icon. So now we have childish icons, childishly large um, and then we can minimize them as well if you want to make them smaller. And it all applies on the fly, as you can see, just like this. Uh, let's just reset it again. You could basically change the size of your entire layout. So if you toggle this edit size on, you have these two little arrows that show up. And then once you do that, just tap you know, somewhere in the corner. Then basically you could just drag your entire layout around. So you could make it really squashed down towards the bottom. You could also conf confine it into one corner. 
or you could stretch it out. So it's just really cool, all this crazy customization that we have. So as you saw there, I, did, I actually just experienced a little bug. A lot of my icons just randomly disappeared. So if you ever run into an, an issue like that, just go ahead and double tap in the middle of the screen again and tap reset, and then, and then you'll be good to go. As you can see, the icon labels are slightly affected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and respring my device, but you, you could reboot it if you want to as well. Uh, and hopefully these, you know, little bugs like that will be ironed out over time. And I'm sure some of you guys will probably want to know how I resprung my device with the 3D Touch shortcuts. Uh, that's a tweak called Shortcuts. It's available in Cydia, you know, right now, just to let you guys know. But anyways, let's go ahead and do that again. So we'll just go ahead and enter the mode, and we could do Edit Size. And now let's just show you guys one more time how this works. So you know, once you dismiss the menu, just go ahead and slide down. Then you can set it into place, and, you know, it'll take an effect just like that for your individual pages. So... If let's say we wanted a different layout on this page, we could do that. So we could double tap over here. Uh, let's say we wanted to make our icons bigger over here. And I don't know, maybe we'll edit the size a little bit, make them in a different position. And again, as you can see, it's, it's, it's on a page by page basis, which is really cool. But now let's just go ahead and reset everything back to normal. Okay, so we also have resize badges. So if you want the badges to be affected on your home screen and the labels. So let's just say we select the bit, uh, labels to resize. So now when we readjust the icon size you can see that the labels also get equally childishly large so really cool tweak for customizing your device you know just all that in-depth customization right on the home screen and you know and also on a page by page basis it just makes things really easy to customize really easy to get to the way that you want to get them to and also of course if we want to reset everything we have to do it on a page by page basis so you can select reset here and then everything goes back to normal all right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy these tweaks. If you guys did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to City of Tweaks, iOS updates, that kind of thing. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.